What is going on today, guys? It is Step On A Gaming, and we're back with Joel again. Uh, we re I really enjoyed recording with him, so we're back, and we're gonna do like some kind of stupid life lessons and just have a stupid talk over some TF2 gameplay instead of Killing Floor 2. We're basically just gonna do commentary over games because I am cheeks at every game, and that, that's really Pretty not. cheeks. I'm, I'm like unbelievably cheeks. So we're just gonna basically record over it because that's kind of the fun thing to do. So we're basically gonna be talking about like life lessons kind of thing. Um, so, you know, Joel is obviously very good with women, uh, is what, at least I think, in my opinion. Other people could have different opinions, think he's gay, whatever. Uh, what? what have you... How does it go from being good with women to being gay? I don't know, people could think you're gay, like, to be honest, like... Honestly, I've had some guys hit on me. Alright, on to the next question. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Alright, so basically, we're gonna try to figure out, like, some questions to, like, do. I don't even know what we can basically talk about. So, we're just basically gonna go, and we're gonna do this. Hold up, we're gonna look up, like, life lessons or some bullshit like that. Um, all right. All right, we got some stuff for you. All right. All right. How about, how about this? How about this? How to pick up women. I think Joel would like this one. We'll see. We'll see how you agree with the, these tips from other men. 12 golden rules for picking up women. All right. First one, always be mentally ready to pick up. What do you think about that? I guess if she's heavy, you gotta be mentally ready to pick her up. <laughs> heavy chicks, yeah. Like, lot. like I don't know. Like, you have to make sure the towing capacity of your car. You, you know, if you need like a separate like trailer, just to, you know, put her in. And I think. you don't lift with your back. Don't lift. Yeah, because yeah, you, you if you lift with your back, you gotta bend the knees, so it takes the pressure away from the back. So you don't you don't want to hurt yourself. You know, that's exactly. one thing you don't want to so do. If your chick is fat, use your legs. Um. Yeah, but like, because if you get hurt, then you can't do the actions later. You know what I'm saying? You're right. All right, so on to the next one. Uh, the next one would... What the hell is only... Oh, here we go. Next page. Um, all, right, all right. Don't use pickup lines. I disagree. Me too. Like, all right, all right. So pickup lines are actually very useful. Even though they can be corny, some girls think corny is cute. Yeah, like, there's, there's plenty of women out there that'll be like, oh, that pickup line was so stupid, but... But it was funny. It was like... It was and like, that's yeah. the goal. You just want to make them laugh. Yeah, you want to make conversation is the whole... Exactly. The whole point of saying a pickup line. Um, but my favorite pickup line is, I, as I said this in the last video, but I'm going to mention it again, is the, the <laughs> phone. The phone pickup lines get the girl every time. Like, you just... She, like, you like you whip out your phone, like, let me get your number. She's like, damn, that's a big phone. Or, damn, that's a small phone. And you can basically reverse the pickup line depending on the phone size. Yeah, like if it's a big phone, you're like, oh, you know, it's not I cool. bet you could fit big things in your hand, or can you handle big things, or, you know, or say, this phone's too small, maybe you could handle something bigger, or something, <laughs> something really stupid like that will never get you laid, but, you know, it's funny as hell. All right, on to the next one. It'll get the girl to laugh, which will get you laid sooner. All right, if, if some girls are like that, some girls are like, play hard to get kind of shit. Don't fear rejection, fear rejection. You get rejected, just end your life. Yeah. There's, there's no point. Don't like, fear rejection. Like, <laughs> you gotta be confident, but... Still, I gotta always be in the back of your mind. Like, don't be like, like yeah, like, straight like, up like have words. women lined up. Like, if one's down, just just cross her off the list and go to the next one. Yeah, like just, don't don't approach her like weird just because you're like so confident. Like, just be like normal. Like, yes, think about rejection in the back of your mind. Don't, but don't let it like overwhelm yeah. your decisions. All right, read her body language. So she coming at you with them with that thick body and those leggings. You just smash. There's just there's just no pickup lines, no talking. If she no nothing. touches you ever, just. Take just, your clothes off, to be honest. Um, yeah, like, that that would be... touches you, like, your shoulders, and, like, start feeling your muscles. Just kiss her. Just whip just, just whip out the guns. Just, yeah. just don't have any misfires, because we've had situations like this before. Yes. And it involved the police, and it wasn't a fun <laughs> situation. All right, give them a fi the 15-minute test. All right, I have no idea what this is, so yeah. I'm just going to read the description. <laughs> no, I've never heard that oh, before. Okay. It's right, probably right, not good. Right, shut up. It, it may take you longer at first, but eventually you should be able to tell... In about the time whether a woman is in a interested in you and B up for casual sex. Reading body language will help answer part A. I, what? I still I'm still very con like obviously it's about banging her, but what is the 15 right. minutes? You might think that you could be writing off potential babes by judging them too quickly, but bear in mind that it takes a certain combination of factors, interest you, right mindset, no boyfriend or fidelity, to find a woman that suits your needs. Once you get a good start, getting a good start at steering, struck up conversations through the various topics without being too blunt. Oh, you got to smoke a blunt. <laughs> it should take about 15 minutes to get a good impression of your chances of women in front of you either now or your next date. 
All right, that, that's some useless bullshit. Just don't do that shit. Just really it don't. It shouldn't take 15 minutes to get a good impression. It literally takes 30 seconds as like, soon as oh, you walk in the room. Yeah, like... There is, on how you look and everything, literally 30 seconds as soon as you walk in the room. Like, like you could basically she'll tell... She'll have like, a good soon, or bad impression. As, yeah, as soon as like, you see the girl, you could tell if she yeah. likes you or not. Yeah. And if you get your number, then just start texting her and she'll, she'll work out. Like, all right. Know when to cut your losses. No, don't stop. Don't ever stop. Yo, there, there ain't no stopping in this game. Yo, <laughs> women like tryhards. Dead ass. Like, you could be, like, that boyfriend that, like, gives her everything. And then be that one guy that's always in the back, like, just chilling. Always hitting her up. And then she'll eventually just fuck that guy behind your back. And then you'll be like, damn, I should have been that guy. So, dead ass should be that guy. Use negative hits. Just just hit that bitch. Dead ass. Just, no, I'm just playing. Don't use any hits. <laughs> Do not hit her. Use the positive that's hits. usually not how you get a girl. But some girls like being hit. Wait, all right, it says you might use a compliment in your initial contact. This is really bad advice. Like, I, I really don't know. Where did we find this advice? What is this website? I don't know. It's called askmen.com. This website's cheeks. Don't lie. Lie about everything. Say you're a millionaire. You got the Lambo chilling. Oh. You got the Glock in the Rari. Like, you just you, like just impress her with all that bullshit, right? Maybe don't say you got the Glock in the Rari. <laughs> like, if you don't scared. get in my car, you get in the shot tonight. And, <laughs> she'd be like, and she has no choice but to get with you. So that pickup line will work every time. Yeah, you're right. Everything works if you have a gun. Or you could just, like, drug her drinks like Bill Cosby and then just, they don't have a choice but to sleep with you. I don't know if he actually did that. I don't, I don't know if I actually believe that. Oh, shut up. You're so annoying. Get a good wingman. I got I got my boy, so I'm set. You yeah. know, just, just, just find Joel. Just hit him up on, like, ask or kick or whatever. Be like, all right, so the best pickup line or thing you could say to a girl is got kick. And then follow up with the question. Yeah, you got kick? And then once you get the kick, be like, send nudes. And if she says no, then just block her. her. Yeah, just dead her right there. Like, why would you talk to her if she's not going to do that? All right, oh. always close the day, all right? I, I kind of agree with that. Like, you got to end it at some point, and... Uh, Obviously, you're not going to keep the day going for ever. Like, what do you mean, close the day? Yes, thank you, <laughs> askmen.com. <for a laughs> shitty website. Like, you got to be like, oh, yeah, let's let's get a drink somewhere, just the two of us. Like, be like, no, nah, let's go back to my place. Yeah, like, just... We could wrap some gifts, and by gifts, I mean my dick. Um, or don't wrap it. <laughs> You don't need to. It uh, depends yeah, on. obviously, just having kids is great with the woman you don't know. That could have come um, in the episode. Yeah. Pull out. Pull out game strong <laughs> out here. Uh, I don't have a kid yet, so that's how I know mine is strong. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you. I don't know why. We, we just get too carried away. Work on many leads simultaneously. Simultaneously. Simultaneously? No, I have no simultaneously. Don't Holy it. shit, I'm stupid. This is important for a number of reasons. All right, so. Uh, then we're gonna skip down with Helen's on bullshit. Think of your strengths in the eyes of your prey. That's some bullshit too. I don't even understand these last two bullshit. <laughs> yeah, honestly, but what does that last one say? Play by the rules? No. What do you mean? I'll oh, play by the rules. There you have it. The essential twelve golden rules for picking up women. Always remember that picking up takes practice. Yeah. So basically, don't play by those rules at all. Now you uh, can practice on like 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 if you have like a friend that is a female, you could practice. But don't practice on a guy because then people will think you're gay. Unless um, you just say no homo. If you have like let's say like you have this like girl that you don't necessarily like practice on her but she likes you like you know what i mean like she likes you but you don't like her practice on her like to get better with other girls it's not like necessarily mean to do that yeah, I, I guess i feel like some people would take that as being mean because then it'd be like oh you got attached to me and then you just left me for some other chick yeah they'll think you played them but you actually didn't you were just benefiting how to pick up women stuff. in bars without rejection um, that it uh, that sounds like fucking some cheesy ass shit. Like, we should make up our own guidelines. Yeah, honestly, we really should. Um, all right, we, all right, we got some other ones. All right, Whew. this this is this is some even worse advice from uh, Men's Health over here. <laughs> um, we got perform at the beep. If you get her voicemail, leave a message. All right, I don't know who the fuck leaves voicemails in 2016. Yeah, why would But you? if you're leaving a voicemail to some girl, bro, you ain't getting laid. Hands down. There's just no way. Yeah, like, I don't... I don't even have a voicemail box set up. Like, yeah, I don't have a voicemail box set up. Like, all right. Because like, no one calls me because everyone just texts. Yeah, texting texting is the way to go because, like, if you mess up, you can, like, like, you can yeah. just erase the number or whatever. But I feel like voicemail is, like, very, very personal. And yeah. if you're going to get that person, you might as well just meet her in person. I only call, like, business calls. Call before day three. I would just say, like, if she gives you her number, then just call her. Yeah, like, don't don't wait. There's, if she's not... Don't attra- wait. Call late. <laughs> If she's not attracted to you, right, as soon as you meet her, as soon as she gives you her number, she's not going to be attracted to you three days later. So why wait? If she's attracted to you, she's attracted to you. Like, there's no need to wait at all. Yeah, and also, don't expose, like, her negatives because you don't want to, like, 
Be like, she's like, you, yeah, I'm super depressed. And be like, yeah, depression fucking sucks dick. And be like, and then she'd be like, wow, he's <laughs> yeah. so supportive. And all yeah, that, you know. You know try to support her. Yeah, women are sensitive, so be that kind of Very stuff. Very sensitive. All right, I think that's going to sum up this uh, episode. Because I don't know how much more we could talk about women. I think it's never ending, to be honest, because mm. it's just like. Women are just like I feel there. like I feel like we'll find out, like, the meaning of life before we find out the meaning of women. Yeah. Uh, to be honest. So, all right, guys, we're going to end this video here. Signing off, me and Joel. We'll probably, I'll probably have him back because we always do stupid shit. And he's pretty cool to hang out with. So, yep. hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe, all that bullshit.